<laughs> Mom. That's the thing, though. It doesn't have to be this way. Like, I have seen and witnessed firsthand where that grind or that to keep up bullets and stuff, it drops off. You don't have to do it as much. But I haven't got to that point. I guess I'm too noob. I'm still in the you ain't nothing but a hound dog phase. Wait, I got skill points just from farming? What? That don't make no sense. Did I get that much XP? Three skill points? I must have completed a quest or something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, we are going for the next Skadea, which is got that close assault team. We got these defender slots. I think that's all the squares. So we'll hit these up next. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do that one more time, and then we're gonna we're gonna progress. We're gonna do that one more time, and that was this one, right? No, that was. The encampments. Encampments are a different icon. Destroyed encampments. I was just on it. That one. Um, but it was over here. Did they actually disappear? No. No. Where am I at? I'm trying to be in Plankerton. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. This is where I was. Again! One thing I don't want to do, I don't want to make a mistake of like grind or like rushing through the story and um, rushing through all the uh, SSDs. And get to like the high level stuff and be like a potato. Are those all quests? Those are all like, th think of them as nodes. It's a very, it's, it's similar to Warframe in that regard. Think of them as like planet nodes. And some of them have like purple stuff coming up from them. That means you can get like special loot from them. Um, they're, they're, they're like alerts. And I have a page here. Which like lists all the alerts that are going on at the moment. So I'm in Plankerton. And here are some mission alerts that I can get, which gives me like a gun, which is called a, I don't know, this gives me a defender, a rare defender. I get a mini reward llama by doing this one. Um, I can get, a, uh, let's see, lighting in a bottle, five of them by doing this one and so on. And there's group missions and then there's storm alerts. And this is, you get all these materials from them. But yeah, they are all, eventually, if you go through the story, you're going to have to do all of those. And if you look at this, this kind of gives you an indicator of just how many there are. Is this There's a lot to do in this game. I think it's just when people first got addicted to it. People first got addicted to it. They um There wasn't as much variety. I want to loot this first before you break it down. There wasn't as much variety as there is now. And truth be told, I think I still think they could add more variety to the missions. But I think for what's here now, it's good enough to release. 
as a free-to-play game. And I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to try my best not to do it on the mic. Like, my, my, my mustache is tickling my nose. I might have to trim it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not a way to break down the door. I don't want to be here. There's too many, too much noise. Making all that noise. That's right. Come down. Calm down. There we go. Uh, all right. So there's nuts and bolts at playgrounds. So if you go here, this is a nut and bolt site here. Good nut and bolt sites are playgrounds. And also, I'm just regurgitating what somebody taught me. Um, playgrounds and um, transformer sites. Like industrial sites and stuff. So you go to a daycare. Take out those playgrounds. Get those nuts and bolts. And mechanical parts and stuff. I used to have a quest to take out bears. I am a bear. Parking meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another good one. But this is a suburban map, I think. I don't know if there's a... There may be an area with parking meters. We'll see. Bear the farm with an outlander? You're right. You're absolutely right. And when I last played, that was my main class, but I've been focusing on leveling this guy. Don't necessarily have to play with him to level him. You know what? Let's do that. Good call, man. Don't have to play with him to level him. And I nuked... I, I had an outlander that was three stars? And I nuked him to level up this guy. Um, to level up my soldier, Skull Trooper Jonesy. But I do have this Outlander on deck to level up. Flash AC. But I need the hero XP to, to, to uh, level him up. Um, squads. No. Keep forgetting how to change people. Heroes. There we go. All right. So we'll we'll change this for now. Woo! Stats went way down. Wow. <laughs> All right, we'll do this to farm. Okay, I hit escape. I'm bad. All right, here we go. Select. Map. Back to Plankerton. Go back to the this guy again. Actually, let's go to industrial here. Be more parking meters there, maybe. Could you show me your Hydra? Uh, yes. It's, I'm in the process of leveling it up, but uh, there it is. I haven't put any perks on it yet. It's level three. Like, I just got it on Saturday, I think. I bought it from the, the sale. And while we're on that, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This event thing, pretty sure this is where I bought it. Yeah. If you got the gold, if you guys are new like me, if you got the gold, buy this gun. It is really good. I forgot how much it costs, but I bought it from the event thing. And I've been, I started leveling it up from there. Um, and this is the flux I was telling you about. Somebody was asking how, if you could combine stuff to, 
take them from epic to legendary but no you have to use these flux and i think legendary this is the only place you can get legendary flux i think that's what i heard from this uh weekly items thing but the other flux you can get from everywhere else i think i'm not positive on that hell hydra cut that one head two more texas please oh i didn't start it i thought i did oh yeah i did What's up, someone? Yeah, but I'm going to eventually change the perks and stuff. I think it makes sense to wait until you get to, like, upper levels to really invest in perks, because you start to get the legendary perks, and they are much better than the epic ones. Am I getting monster in the world? Ah! I'm, li I'm probably not. I'm just going to stick with my PlayStation 4 version. I'm going to be watching the content, though. I really like what I saw with the Behemoth event. The Final Fantasy XIV event. That was looked really well done. Um, oh, I don't have a, a Loot Llama yet. Got to get that unlocked. So I saw there was an upgrade to Loot Llama. My wife showed me this. There's an upgrade to Loot Llama where it gives you bullets, too. Which is like, oh, yeah. That's another way to solve that bullet problem is to play as Outlander and just have a loot llama spit out bullets everywhere. And yeah, I witnessed it. It was like a loot llama, there's just bullets everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so good. Outlander is probably my favorite class. i am be real with you because this is the class I played the most of. Before I switch to soldier. Whoops. I meant to hit E on that. It's really good for gathering and stuff. It gives you flux. I didn't say flux. I said bullets. The loot llama gives you bullets. If I said flux, I didn't mean to say that. Oh, wait. What is my C? Oh, that thing! Okay, my last Outliner didn't have that. I already missed the Soldier C where I just like... ...smash the ground and everything dies. No, this hasn't been released. It's slated to be released this year, but it hasn't been released yet. All right, let's go for some mats. I didn't come here to kill. But yeah, I, I did a lot of Outlander. Like the uh, the next two zones, from what I've seen, are really well done. Like Plank Plankerton, this stuff you guys have probably seen or probably done. But the next two zones, which I kind of want, I'm kind of motivated to grind to. Um, they offer a lot more. In terms of like. Biomes and stuff like that. Now the horde, I don't know if you guys have seen the horde missions. <laughs> if you want difficulty. If you want difficulty, I think that's the place to go, man. That, 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 that analysis can get really crazy. I've seen some videos, man. It can get pretty crazy. Oh. I missed that, too. And I haven't really done that much of the horde stuff, but it, it gets nuts, man. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. I am too weak for you.
All right, you win. Is that? <laughs> so if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm just I'm farming materials now for bullets mainly. Nice to get cakes. I'm having a good time with the game again, man. I, I remember why I liked it. The only reason I stopped playing it is because they introduced an update. When they introduced an update, it was like something happened and it seemed like the screen shake just got just got ridiculous. And it kept making me nauseous. And I was like, I can't play anymore because I keep getting sick. And a couple of patches ago, they reduced the screen shake. Reduced it by uh, you know, a significant margin. And now I don't get as sick anymore. I don't get sick at all, really, unless I'm like standing in the middle of a storm where there's a bunch of things being exploded and the zombies are there. It gets really extreme sometimes. I really wish you could turn off screen shake, like completely, but you can't, which boggles the mind, boggles it just a little bit. Mechanical parts. Simple though. I need sturdy. Where does one get sturdy mechanical parts? I wonder. Hmm. Oops. Cause that's what I need for to craft another hydra. Cause this hydra is about to go. If you don't know, this game does have temporary. The weapons are temporary. Schematics are permanent, but once you craft a weapon, it has durability. I guess this. Oh yeah. So what are the charges used for? I don't think I have anything that uses charges. I don't know if I had a bear that would be used for that or loot llama. I guess I, on the launch screen, I'd have to, um, I'd have to equip something that could utilize that. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm, I'm not sure why they won't let you turn off screen shake. And there's been a fair amount of complaints about it. I mean, it's not like it's something that I'm an outlander on, you know. Outlander. <laughs> Not like I'm an outlander. Alright. What are we up to? Almost 200 b bolts. That didn't, actually, that didn't take that long, actually. I've almost tripled my bolts. Stay still. Ow! Ow! Ooh! There's a purple thing in there. Somebody is crowing. Huzzah! There's so much lootable in here. It's kind of insane. I'm full on metal. Guess I can get full on brick. 
Can't. Oh man, I haven't been over here at all. On the west side? Half of your shenanigans. <laughs> I'm not going to die. <laughs> Bye. Who would this? I don't want to build a relay support floor. You can't make me. If you want a great soldier sledgehammer, the shop is considered the best. Actually, I think the one I have is considered the best. The one I have is the same as Sledgehammer. Just a reskin. Skull Jonesy. He's an urban assault. That's why I'm putting so much resources into him. He's the best. Urban assault. I think it's called urban assault. It's the best uh, soldier. And that's why I, I melted down my old Outlander and I put everything into him. And I, I'm noticing a huge difference. Now that I've gone back to Outlander, it is, yeah. Urban Assault is the funk. Very good. So if you get yourself Urban Assault, keep it. Don't melt it down unless it's a dupe. Oh, it's okay, man. I didn't know that till last night. Like, I was asking my wife. I was like, what? I was, like, asking about the female variant, I think, of, of Urban Assault. I was like, is she any good? My wife was like, you already have it. I was like, no, I don't. She's like, yeah, you have the um, the Jonesies. Like, they do the exact same thing, just a reskin. I was like, oh. Okay, that's how that works. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's just, I, didn't, I didn't realize it at the time that the game just had reskins of the same classes. Exact same thing. Learned that last night. I learned that. I want that. That spool. Oh, bye. Ow. Yeah, I can show it again. As soon as I get into a safe area. I really haven't touched the default though. It's, it's, I've got it up to three stars. And I haven't touched the perks. Uh, where is it? There it is. I haven't touched the perks at all. It's up to three star. Element energy and 5% damage. 10% crit rating. 38% reload. 15%. And 90% crit damage. Um, the goal is to make that a lot better. Like, I haven't done any perks at all on anything. I know how they work, but I haven't done anything on them yet. I realize they are very strong, and I need to start doing them. But I'm hesitant to spend a lot of resources on them because... Um, you really don't get access to the good, the good materials... For the good perks until like later on. Like in Plankerton, I'm gonna have like I think access to uncommon stuff. And um like I probably should wait till I get higher up before I focus on perks.
You've earned an exploration badge. Dormant encampments may become active later. Please to speak of the English. They're coming at me, chat. Sorry. Dormant encampments may become active later. Ow. You're asking why am I using this gun? Because I have 2,500 bullets for it. As opposed to 82 for the gun I like. So you're saying the different uh, rarities of the gun or the conditions of the gun? Um, so mine is silver now. And if I take it higher... If I take it to three star, um, then it's going to take something else. Malachite. Okay. I'll leave it where it is. For now. Babadoo boop boop badoo ba doo boop. Let's get this. At least I got some stone out of that. That's a lot of noise over there. <laughs> Good timing. It's time for my first break. Dormant encampments may become active later. You don't say, lady. Got it. Uh, we'll, we'll call that a warm up. All right, guys, I'll be back. I'm going to take my first break of the day. Feel free to follow the stream if you're enjoying yourself. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash one. Um, going to go for three minutes. I didn't mean to switch scenes, did I? We're going to leave for three minutes.